Okay. Okay, hello fellow YouTubers. So, welcome to Survivables. Now, um, as you guys can see, this is in my room, coming from my room. Get a good look. Yeah, I like my Native American art and, um, knife's collection and everything. So, um, the reason I made this video is because, uh, you know, normally I make videos with, like, bows, like, you've seen my how to make long bows. Oh, maybe you have. Uh, maybe you're new. I'm not sure. But you may have seen my how to make a long bow video. You may have seen my uh, shooting me, me shooting my other bows. And that is cool and all, but something I haven't noticed I haven't done is I haven't really showed you guys much about my arrows. Now, if I was only using carbon fiber arrows, you know, the ones you buy in stores, I probably wouldn't be making this video. But uh, those are only for targets, you know? I do make my own uh, arrows, and I thought I might show them to you guys. Now, um... The reason you haven't seen them before is because they're not for practice, actually. They are hunting arrows. And, um, I make two types of hunting arrows for the most part. Um, flint heads. You know, flint is a type of rock used by people all over the world. Different types of flint, different areas. But it, basically what it is, you chip a piece off, you, you know, you work on it, you know, whatever, and you make an arrowhead out of it. That's basically the simplest way I can explain right now. So I don't want to go into a whole detailed explanation. If you want to see me detailedly explaining it and showing you how to make an arrow out of it, then I will probably make a video on how to make a flint arrowhead soon enough, uh, whenever I get a chance. So when it comes out, you guys can see that if you're interested. And also my other type of arrowhead that I make is called, is made of horn. Now, horn as in like, if you can visualize a buffalo, you know, they have those big horns or you know, whatever. And basically, the hard ends, because, um, the hard ends of the horn, horn is extremely tough, if you don't know that, if you've never worked on it, uh, with it, it's extremely tough material. And basically, the end tip, and it makes, like, uh, I figured out, by seeing how tough it was to cut, that maybe it would make a great arrowhead, and I got some end tips of a Gemsbuck horn that I was working on my composite bow, and cut into some flat pieces, carved it a bit, and I got arrowheads out of it. So let me show you guys my arrows. Those are my arrows. If you can see them well. I have uh, five of these guys right now. Um, all various types of heads and everything. So let me show you my best flint arrow first, because flint's always good. Probably not as durable as horn, but they can get really sharp. I mean, this is what the natives used for thousands of years. You know, Stone Age and everything. So here is some of the fletching. You can see that. Hope you can see that. And then, uh, the shaft. Oh yeah, the shaft is made of hazel. Um, I find it natu uh, pretty naturally in New Jersey. At least where I am. I don't know about where you guys, where you live. Uh, here's the head. Made of Arkansas Novaculite. And, uh, if you guys don't have hazel in your area, I guess I could tell you a couple other names for shafts, um, hazel, cedar, river cane, um, what else, what else, what else, uh, I think you can ash, uh, that's off the top of my head, yep, yeah. uh, those are a couple that I know of, oh, bamboo, bamboo is also, you can buy that at probably like Home Depot or something, I mean, maybe not the best quality bamboo rods, but you can still make a pretty arrow out of it, so, let me show you one of my horn arrows, my favorite one at least, you can see that well, Look at that tip. Nice. It, it looks nice, doesn't it? Carved and everything. Yeah, it takes a while to make them, though. This one, this guy took me an hour and a half. Because, you know, they're so hard to carve, it takes a while to make. But when you make them, they look awesome if you make them the right way. See how I hafted that? And then if you want to see, I kind of made a little design with the feathers. I don't usually do this, but I just wanted to have some fun with it. So, you can see that there. See the shaft? And they're pretty straight, if you can see that well pretty straight. Um, you might not be able to see it really well at the angle you're at, but they're really straight arrows, you know? So, those are my five arrows, and also, if you guys are interested, I will, I'll, anyway, I will make it anyway a video on how to make these arrowheads, both horn and flint, when I get a chance, and I will definitely, as soon as I get some more feathers, may, uh, and some more arrow shafts, because those are important, I will definitely make a video on how to make these arrows in case you guys are interested and just because I want to. Uh, you know, I love sharing my knowledge. So, thank you for watching my video. This is from Survival Bows and have a good day or night, whichever it is. Goodbye.